Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add color to an old black and white photo. There's a few ways to do this, but I'm going to be using solid color fill layers with layer masks and different blend modes. That way everything that we do will be non-destructive so you can come back and change it later. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see how everything was put together and have a photo to work from if you don't have one of your own. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is add color to our sky. So using the quick selection tool, I'm just going to start drawing in the sky here, and it's going to select everything that's a similar color. And you'll need to zoom in, and holding Alt, you'll need to take out some of these areas that you don't want selected. Next, I want to smooth my edge a bit, so I'm going to click the Refine Edge button, and I'm going to turn on Smart Radius and increase the radius to about 5 pixels or so and then turn my smooth slider up to about 3 and hit OK. Now that my selection is made, I'm going to come down to my layers palette and click the new solid color layer and we're going to choose a nice blue color since it's going to be blue for the sky. And you'll see that it used our selection to create a new layer mask on our solid color layer. Now I'm going to set the blend mode to overlay and then I can double click my layer and adjust the color until I get what I want and hit OK. Since this uses layer masks, you can always come in and clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to click my layer mask, and using a black brush, I'm going to paint down here a little bit just to soften the edge between the sky and the ground. And that looks pretty good. Now we're going to repeat this process and do the same thing with the ground. So I'm going to use my quick selection tool just to select the ground here, and zoom in and clean up any little edges that I don't want selected. Then I'm going to click Refine Edge again, and turn on the Smart Radius, and increase that a bit. And then I'm going to smooth my edge just a tiny bit, and hit OK. Again, I'm going to come create a new solid color fill layer, and I'm going to make it kind of a greenish brown, and hit OK. And then I'm going to set that blend mode to overlay as well, and go back in and adjust my color until I get something that's a little more realistic. Next, we're going to select his jacket and hat, so I'm going to click the background layer again. And using my quick selection tool, I'm going to paint all over his jacket and the hat. And like usual, you'll have to zoom in and fix some of the areas that you don't want selected. And again, I'm going to click Refine Edge and turn on Smart Radius, increase that a bit and then smooth it out just a little and hit OK. Again, I'm going to create a new solid color layer, and this time choose a kind of yellowish orange brown, and hit OK. And this time I'm going to set the blend mode to color, and go back in and adjust my color. You'll have to experiment with which blend mode works best for each color, but usually overlay or color works the best. Now we're going to select the skin, so I'm going to click my background layer again, and zoom in a bit. And using my quick selection tool, I'm going to paint all over his face and neck. And remove any areas of the selection that I don't want selected. Again, I'm going to come click Refine Edge and turn on Smart Radius and increase that a bit. Maybe a little more than usual because the hair. And then I'm going to smooth it out just a little bit and hit OK. Now I'll need to remove his eyes from this selection, so what I'm going to do is zoom in and I'm going to press Q to turn on quick mask mode. And what that lets me do is use the brush tool to paint in my selection. So since I want to remove his eyes, I'm going to use black in quick mask mode. And I'm just going to paint on his eyes to remove them from my selection. Now when I'm done, if I press Q again, you'll see that they've been removed from my selection. So I'm going to create a new solid color layer again, and I'm going to choose kind of a peach skin tone color. Then I'm going to set the blend mode for this layer to color. And skin tones are pretty tricky to get right, so you'll usually have to go in and adjust the color a few times till you get something that you're happy with. Next, I'm going to add some color to his eyes, and rather than use the quick selection tool, I'm going to do it manually just because they're round and it's pretty easy to do. 
So I'm going to create a new solid color layer and I'm going to set it to blue because I want to give him blue eyes. And then I'm going to click the layer mask and press control I to invert it so I hide all of that blue that I just created. And then using my brush tool and the color white, I'm going to paint just on the irises of his eyes. Now I'm going to set the blend mode to color. And I'm going to decrease the saturation of the blue that I had selected. Lastly, we're going to add some color to his hair. So again, I'm going to click the background layer. And using my quick selection tool, I'm going to select all the hair and deselect any areas that I don't want selected. Now I'm going to click Refine Edge and if I move this you'll see that the hair has kind of extra selections around it in the sky. So if I turn on Smart Radius and increase that you'll see that it starts to soften the edges and remove some of those sky areas. And with Refine Edge still open I can actually use this brush tool and paint on areas where I want Refine Edge to do a little more work. So usually this helps you select hair a little better. And then I'm going to smooth it out just a little bit and hit OK. Again, I'm going to create a new solid color layer and choose a dark brown color. And I'm going to set this to overlay. And I'm going to zoom out and adjust that color just a little bit, maybe make it a little brighter. Now you can go back and adjust the blend mode for any of the colors or the colors themselves and clean up any of these masks in areas that you might have missed the first time around. The more time you spend on all the little details, the better it's going to look. And if we were going to finish this particular image, I'd keep going and colorize things like the buttons and the metal on his shirt and maybe this insignia on the side of his sleeve. The project files for this tutorial have a little more accurate colors, but I hope this video shows you just how easy it is to add color to any photo. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.